Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. For a while, I've gotten a lot of requests for me to check out Luis Miguel, and I'm honestly surprised. I, my, both my parents were born in Mexico. Spanish was my first language, and I'm very proud of my heritage. And this is actually one of my grandma's favorite artists. She's always talked about Luis Miguel this, Vicente Fernandez that when I was growing up, and I never really sat down and appreciated them. So to pay tribute, I really want to check out this. And it's so special that we get to do it together. Um, but muchas gracias. I thank you so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate all the love and support. If, you know, you have some more Spanish artists that you want to throw my way, I really, really do want to dive in and, and kind of go a different route. We do a lot of different kinds of music here. So it'd be kind of nice to check that out with you guys. But today we're going to be doing La Incondicional. And I'm so stoked. I will be doing some more. Uh, don't worry, it's coming. Let me know which ones you want next in the uh, description box below. But yeah, other than that, let's get started with Luis Miguel's La Incondicional. Hay mucha gente. There's a lot of people. <laughs> misma siempre tú amistad ternura que se yo tú mis horas bajas tú un cuerpo de mujer un par de rosas blancas no existe un lazo entre tú ni yo Okay, okay, I am so sorry. Perdóname. Um, I really, really do. Uh, he has, uh, tiene mucho poder en la voz, bien fuerte. Y I could tell, like, I, I'm going to be Spanglish in here because I feel like it's coming out of me here. But the audience, you could tell that they were eating it up in the beginning and, and they were getting so excited. Uh, muy emocionados. Um, but I'm over here just kind of like, I get it, you know, swaying back and forth. I love it. And then, then he kind of hits you with that power. Bien poderosa la, la voz y... Y me encanta mucho. Uh, I love his faces. That you know, you could tell he's feeling it. Um, las caras que haces. He he's feeling everything in his voice, and it's kind of coming out of him, and it just sounds so great. Um, love it, love it so much. And then you get the touch with the with the background singers, kind of you know serenading you and, and giving you a nice like almost lowering your heart rate because I'm assuming he's gonna go back up there like he did in, in the beginning verse there. Um, Sorry for rambling. Uh, me encanta mucho. Increíble. Uh, I love it. I love it so much. Let's continue. Oh, I like the little, the little beats. Él siente mucho la música. He, he feels a lot in the music. You can see in his face. Ah. Mm. Oh. Ay, qué lindo. 
Está muy feliz, me encanta. Ándale, más fuerte, con ganas. <laughs> Ay, todas bien voladas. <laughs> they are so, uh, they're, they're eating it all up. Ándale, poquito más. Con ganas, por favor. <laughs> Me encanta su sonrisa. Qué rico eso, ¿no? Muy rico. Solo tú Increíble. <risa> ya sé por qué mi abuelita le encanta escuchar música de Luis Miguel porque... Pues ya sé, ya sé. That was absolutely mind-blowing, beautiful, everything. I was not expecting a voice to be like that. To be honest, uh, I was expecting something a lot different. Uh, my grandma loves, um, you know, Spanish music. She loves Mexican music. She is very, very involved in all of that. That's all she listens to. And I've listened to a lot. You know, in the background, she would have uh, uh, Gloria Estefan. Um, she would have Vicente Fernandez. And she would always talk about Luis Miguel and... I had no idea he would have softer songs like this. To be honest, I didn't know if this was going to be more like a, 
mariachi style i wasn't sure i love that kind of music as well um but i really really wasn't expecting this beautiful delicate um voice that he had absolutely insane um yeah i'm gonna compose myself here a little so as always let's just discuss this a little bit further the fact that it took me this long 28 almost 29 years of my life growing up in a spanish-speaking household from parents born in mexico my grandmother raised me and all she did was talk about all of her music she would show me so many things i grew up listening to selena i was obsessed and i just got a different you know route when i went to middle school i started listening to more alternative rock music then i started getting into metal growing up um i kind of skipped my mexican heritage here and i have so many great people that i need to you know dive into as i've been missing out as you can see you know i love selena i love selena so much i've gone to the corpus christi you know monument when i was a kid and i love you know voices i feel like spanish when you sing in spanish and i love singing in spanish i feel like you feel that soul like like you're almost getting pieces of your heart and kind of giving it to people you're passing it out to you know the audience and i love that you feel so much soul so much emotion so much raw powerful energy you know and i don't know if in the um studio version of this song he did kind of those uh it seemed like he was doing like a, like those runs, kind of like almost like a scat there. I don't know if that's how it is in the original or if he was just kind of feeling playful with it. I would love to compare those two as well, but I really did enjoy every moment of this. You know, he has this charisma on stage. Obviously, you know, all of the women in the audience were eating that up. You could tell they probably lost all of their voices that night screaming for him. And I get it because I would have been doing the same. Um, but I feel like he has this a charming you know way about him he's just you know so slick and suave and then he opens his mouth and, and, and it's like his it, just the voice of an angel comes out and you're just taken to a completely different planet um beautiful 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 i loved every minute of it muchas gracias thank you for this i really do appreciate that um if you guys are interested in me listening to more spanish i would love to kind of did some spanglish here i know most of my audience um either speaks english or german um so i'm so sorry but i kind of like um listening to songs in spanish i feel like a little bit more of my uh, personality comes out so i would love to do maybe some more spanish music and maybe do spanish reaction um i feel like that'd be really cool in this uh, channel's future um but thank you for that mas mas luis miguel por favor muchas gracias for this i would love to do more send it my way please 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 and thank you um but yeah i appreciate it thank you so much uh, if you have uh, some more stuff to send me, again, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, if this is your first time, if you've ever seen Luis Miguel in concert, let me know. I would love to hear your experiences as well. If you'd like to hang out with me off YouTube, I also stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hope to get to know you guys a little bit better. I'd love to hang out, do live reactions, play games, get together. Um, we're very close in over there as well. But other than that, all my socials are in the description box. Love to see you guys off YouTube. But... Other than that, take care of yourselves. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Muchas gracias, and I'll see you very soon. Love you so much. Bye.